Hi there. Today I'm making a matriciana, which is a wonderful, tasty Italian pasta dish. So to get started, you need some olive oil, salt and pepper, spaghetti, some whole tomatoes that are peeled and diced, or you can cheat it out to save time and get Pomi makes really great finely chopped tomatoes. It saves you a lot of time. You'll need an onion, a chili pepper if you're adventurous. This is what the recipe calls for. You can add a little or a lot. And then pancetta. You can get that from your butcher or prepackaged like this. It's already diced, as you can see. So again, it saves you some time. So to get started, I took a pan and I added a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Then added, I added my pancetta. I cooked it for about four or five minutes until the fat kind of begins to roll off. And then I added my thinly sliced onions, just really thinly slice them like this, and then saute them until they're browned for a few minutes, maybe four or five minutes. Then you're gonna wanna add your chili pepper. You can add a lot or a little, make sure all the seeds are out, that gets super spicy if not, and then finely chopped. I add just a little bit. My kids like a little bit of spice, but sometimes it can be too much for some people. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your tomatoes and add them to the pan. And then just let it saute for about 40 minutes, maybe give it an occasional stir every 15 minutes. So this is now what my sauce looks like. Then I put a pot ready of water, boiled some water for my spaghetti and salted it made sure that it was al dente when it came out. And voila, I have my, my amatriciana, which should look something like this. This is a great dish for the whole family, definitely a crowd pleaser. And there's nothing better than making your own homemade tomato sauce that has a good taste to it. So happy cooking, I'll see you next time, bye.